So guys, one day Mr. Richard Branson woke up from his deep sleep and he decided to attach a rocket to one of his Boeing 747s. Now I'm not messing with you here, he's actually attached a rocket to a 747 but there's actually a good reason for it. So guys, on Wednesday, the Virgin Orbit team, which is a subsidiary of Virgin Atlantic, released some pictures of their next project and their new rocket. Now the rocket is called Launcher 1 and it's still in its prototype stages and they're hoping to send it into orbit by early next year. It's around 70 feet long and it weighs in the region of something like 25 tons. Now the whole purpose of the rocket is to carry small satellites into orbit around Earth. Instead of doing it the casual way of attaching it to a spaceship, this method has proven itself to be very cost effective. Now the rocket is attached to a retired 747, or in the airline's language, the Cosmic Girl, and the whole purpose of this event is to check whether the systems and the software will all work in harmony. Now in terms of how it actually will pan out, the plane will reach an altitude of around 32,000 feet. At that point, the rocket will release from the plane and it will engage its thrusters to travel at speeds of up to 17,500 miles per hour, which is around 20 times the speed of sound. Now, as I said earlier, this method will hopefully provide Virgin and also the other companies to launch their satellites in shorter intervals and also at a lower price. Now, the company is hoping to launch from various locations around the world, which will increase their options of where, when and how to launch their rockets compared to being restricted at one base. Now in terms of their test flights, well they haven't really given us a date and I kind of understand because these things take their time to plan and also execute. But when the test flight does begin, then the first flight will begin with captive carry missions. And what that essentially is, is that the rocket will stay attached to the plane from liftoff all the way to the landing. Then the next step will be drop missions, where the company will evaluate the way the rocket is released and how it travels through the atmosphere. So you can sense that they're going to take their time and I can't really give you a date but they have hinted at it being early next year. Who knows to be honest we just have to wait and see. So captains, that's all there is for me at this moment in time. You know, it just goes to show how versatile the 747 actually is cause it's used for so many different missions apart from commercial service. Nevertheless, in my opinion, I think this is an amazing time to be alive. So guys, share your thoughts and opinions if you have any and I hope to catch you captains in the next video.